So we all know that shooting videos is only half the battle. The other half of the battle comes when you have to take that footage into your editor and, well, which editor do you use? Now, obviously, there are two big editors out there, Final Cut Pro and Premiere Pro, and choosing between the two can be very difficult. Well, in this video, I'm gonna walk you guys through some of the pros and cons of each, so hopefully this will help you guys know which editor you should be spending a lot of your time in and mastering, and ultimately, which editor is the best for you. What's good, creative fam? Brandon Washington here. And first of all, if you're brand new to the channel, definitely consider hitting that subscribe button because this channel is all about filmmaking gear, tips, and tutorials. And in today's video, like I said already, we are looking at Final Cut Pro and Premiere Pro. Now, these two softwares are very similar, but also very different. Now, the way that each of them are designed and the way they edit is completely different, which is why you will find a lot of filmmakers who basically live by one and will die by the other. And well, kind of the same way you have a lot of people who are very passionate about Sony versus Canon, especially on this YouTube channel. So it's really interesting that I've been getting a lot of questions around editing, but honestly, I don't know which editors you guys use. So definitely check out the poll above and let me know which editor do you guys use or are you planning on using, especially at the end of this video. So that way I can know what type of you know tutorials you guys are looking for, because honestly, I edit in both. And by the end of the video, you'll know exactly why. Now, a couple quick little house clipping things I gotta get out of the way before we jump in. First, if you are a PC user, well, obviously Final Cut does not work for you and it won't work for you. You do have to have a Mac in order to use Final Cut. The second thing is, as a lot of you guys may or may not know, depending on how long you've been on this channel, I used to work for Apple full time. And so by working for Apple, I got a lot of experience in Final Cut. In fact, I actually used to teach their classes on Final Cut. So when it comes to Final Cut, I'm very proficient. And thanks to working at Apple and being professionally trained and certified in Final Cut, it has really helped me a lot in that program. Now, with that being said, before going to Apple, I almost exclusively edited in Premiere. And although Premiere has changed a little bit over time, the basis of it has been the same and I've continued to edit in Premiere for different projects. So now let's jump into why you might wanna choose one or the other first, starting off with Final Cut. Now when it comes to editing in Final Cut Pro, one thing that most Final Cut users are gonna let you know is that Final Cut Pro is simple and it's easy and it's fast. That is the best part about Final Cut. It is a very easy program to pick up and learn. It's also a very fast editor. And when I say it's fast, not only is it easy to make cuts and make changes, but when it comes to rendering and just exporting files, it is significantly faster than Premiere. Now, there are lots of people who will say, well, it really depends on the computer, which is absolutely true. But if you take like a PC and a Mac with roughly the same specs and you try to export a file that is exactly the same, in most situations, Final Cut renders faster. Another nice little benefit that you get with Final Cut when it comes to rendering is that it does most of its rendering in the background. So what this means is while you're editing your video, as you are adding different clips or as you're adding different effects, it does all that rendering in the background, making it for a much smoother and kind of just continuous workflow when it comes to Final Cut. Another nice little bonus when it comes to Final Cut is most of its stuff is very plug and play. For example, if you buy some presets online, they're basically all just plug and play, which is one thing that I absolutely love when using Final Cut. You can find these presets online, you can basically drag them and drop them, and it's super, super easy to make adjustments. And probably one of my favorite things about Final Cut is, well, how you pay for it. It is a one-time flat fee and that's all. You just pay one time and you own the software. Over time, especially at the beginning, Final Cut wasn't that great. They were missing a lot of plugins, a lot of new things, but whenever they did roll out, because I already own the software, I got all those updates at no additional cost. So basically, I've been getting a better editor as time has progressed without having to pay any additional money. Now, let's go ahead and shift over to some of the pros of Premiere before we jump into the cons. Now, one of the biggest pros when it comes to Premiere is the fact that, well, it is a industry standard used by most. 
Premiere is pretty much used in the industry across all different platforms by tons of creators. And what this means is when it comes to collaborations, well, you're using the software that other creators are using. Now Final Cut is slowly dipping into that pool, but it is very unanimous that Premiere is being used by everyone. And that's because of one of the big pros, and that is the fact that it's not only available on Mac, but it's also available on PC. Now another big reason why a lot of people love using Premiere is the fact that it is already integrated with the other Adobe software. So for example, if you are making a really cool video and you first need graphics that have been created in Photoshop, well you can literally just drop in those PSD files and it's gonna work with any issues and if at any point you need to make any adjustments you just make the adjustment to the original PSD file and then boom immediately you'll see that update done in Premiere now that's just a small token of it probably the biggest one is how well it integrates with After Effects After Effects is an amazing editing software that basically is completely different than Premiere or Final Cut it's kind of that next step up for compositing and motion graphics and all kinds of craziness but one of the nice things about it is that it integrates seamlessly within Premiere. This is one reason why I personally still edit in Premiere, even though I'm very, very efficient in Final Cut, is because the integration between Premiere and After Effects is so seamless that it's almost kind of a, a no-brainer that if you're gonna be doing any work in After Effects, you're gonna wanna do your full edit in Premiere. And then my final pro for Premiere is the fact that it has Warp Stabilizer. Now I know this is just one effect within Premiere, but Warp Stabilizer is probably the best stabilization that I've ever seen built into an actual editing program. Now Final Cut does have its own version of stabilization, which will get the job done probably 80% of the time. However, I find that Warp Stabilizer works almost 90 to 95% of the time, really making it a piece of editing software that can really save you in a clinch. Now, the one thing that I will say is that there have been times when I'm editing a project in Final Cut and I need something stabilized and Final Cut is just not cutting it, I literally will go in Premiere to warp stabilize one clip and bring it back over into Final Cut. That's literally how good it is. Now yes, both of these programs have their pros, but they each have their own cons as well. The first starting off with Final Cut. I think my biggest issue when it comes to Final Cut is with how little updates we see when it comes to Final Cut. I mean, for example, it took forever for us to get proper color grading out of it. And then the other nice little thing that we always get with Final Cut is we get these bug updates, but we don't ever see anything really substantial or new. No new plugins from Apple, no new big changes. I mean, for the most part, Final Cut has been the same from the beginning. Now, yes, they've improved things over time as the program is a couple years old now, but one thing that I'm always really jealous of is when I see Adobe doing their Adobe Max presentation and we're seeing Premiere get all these amazing new updates, whether they're you know adding new features to it or making the integration between other software easier. This is something that I really wish we could see in Final Cut. That being continued along, Final Cut really doesn't play well with other programs. Now, it does allow you to export XML files, but really you can't do much with those files, which basically leaves you having to literally go do something in another program, completely export it as if you're finished with that program, and then add that clip to your Final Cut edit, which is a very slow and tedious program. I mean, even if you're using like a PSD file, I have found that like the layers don't work well within Final Cut. So this is one thing that does kind of suck about it is that if you're gonna do anything in Final Cut, you almost have to live exclusively within the program. Now, if you can live exclusively within the program, then you're gonna be fine. Final Cut's gonna do great things for you. However, when you want to do some extra stuff, that's definitely where Premiere comes into play, but it comes with a cost. One of the big issues I have with Premiere is the fact that as of right now, Adobe has basically put all their software on this monthly subscription, which means you're going to be paying every single month that you use this. Now, initially you say, well, that's not that bad. It's only $50 a month where Final Cut is, you know, $400 or $300 or something like that. But over time, you will definitely add up and it will add up quickly to the point where now Premiere has cost you a ton more than Final Cut ever did. Now, as I said at the beginning of this video, I tend to edit in both. The way I typically decide which one I wanna edit in is if I'm editing something for speed or for simplicity, 
I basically am gonna edit that in Final Cut. All my YouTube videos, most of my real estate videos, most of, probably 75% of my videos are all edited in Final Cut just because of that speed and simplicity. But when it comes to my more complex things, things that include hyperlapses or things that include you know, graphics or that include any type of animation or need that specialty creative touch, all of that stuff is edited in Premiere, normally with assistance with After Effects. You know, when it comes to picking your perfect editor, one thing you're gonna have to ask yourself is what am I trying to get out of this editor? Like in most situations, when it comes to cameras or lenses, you have to ask yourself, what do I need to get out of this? Now, don't go just pick a certain editor because your favorite creator is using that editor or you know someone else you know personally is using that editor, you definitely have to try these editors out and see what you like. Typically what I tell most people to do is one, start on YouTube. Look at tutorials, look at how other people are using each program, and from there decide which one you wanna try out. Each of these programs offer free trials and so you can definitely check them out, try them out, try some tutorials, see which one works well for you, and then from there decide which one you wanna invest your money in. The one thing I will say is that it is important for you to master at least one of these before taking on the other. I know a lot of creators try to learn both of them and like I said, I mastered Final Cut as I already kind of knew Premiere and then kind of continuously worked in Premiere. But you need to master one of them because your editing is very important to your overall creative process. And by mastering your editor, you'll know what you can achieve via the edit that way you know how to shoot it for one but then also you can have a better creative mind when you go out to shoot initially so there you have it guys i hope this video was helpful i hope you guys have maybe can kind of decide which one you want to go with on top of that definitely check out the poll again above so that way i can know which editing software you guys are using because i do want to start putting out tutorials on editing i know you guys have been asking me for those and so i do want to kind of put that information out there for you so definitely check out the link above take that poll so that way i know which one you guys want to see if you guys have questions around editing or anything like that leave those down in the comments below don't forget to hit that subscribe button and i'll catch you guys in the next video peace